Let me say I'm living in a rush because I'm moving fast. Let me say my matter don't cast, but me I no reply. Jesus Christ, she your man, body divine. What's up, my people? I go by the fine boy mother. I are watching the convo. Stay tuned. That's your mother. Fine boy Bella. Yes, baby, what's good? Alpha. I'm good. Can you share it? I do it too. It's good to have you here. Yeah, see me. Yeah, so, um, you just finished school, right? Yes. So, how how was the process for you? Uh, thanks to God, you know, um, <clears throat> it's not funny when you're trying to make money while you're in school. Yeah. But, you know, um, we have to balance things up. Me personally, I know I have to balance things up. So uh, I just have to do it in so many ways to make it one. So thanks to God, it was a successful one. I'm a graduate and I'm still into my music. It's still going. So, Interesting. Yeah. So while you in the process of writing your final exams, you posted um, a screenshot of the exam paper. Mm -hmm. So, how in the exam hall were you in a separate place? No, or no. You all were together. Yes, I was with everybody like a normal student. Mm -hmm. You know, that one is not allowed to you join, even if you are boy or more, you did here. But you know, it's all good. These people are people I used to know, and I will always know. So, there's no fidgeting. Mm -hmm. I just went there to do my thing, and thanks to their support too, they were there for me. So shout out to all us, right? It's all good. Okay. So while you were writing, were there more poles around you? The security was it tight? Yeah, they were outside now. They were outside. I have to take Mopo now. It's different now. You know, that's not the Bella of those days. You know, mm -hmm. uh, even in my school, you know, I have to secure myself. You know, it's understandable. So it's fine. So um, your fame now, the relationship now with. How far you've come mm -hmm. and your friends? Has there been any change over time? I'm sure, you know, there are some people that I don't even see again. You know, I don't talk to again. It's not that probably we level don't change, you know, but you know, it's work. Even as a normal person, without being a star, you leave some people back, you know, you leave some people behind. Like, you know, they said 20 friends can't work together for, yeah, 20, for years. 20 years. So, you know, so, and it's all good. We are all in good terms. There's no star boy saying no beef. You know, if I see them, I say hi. You know, it's all good. Interesting. Yeah. So, um, you recently met with Whiskey. Mm -hmm. So, we know the both of you were vibing, and there was a point you were saying, you don't spoil. Well, right. <laughs> so, what was the meaning of that, you don't spoil? And uh, your meeting with Whiskey, is there, are we going to get anything out of it? Um, well, um, I will say yes, I will say no, because okay. I'm not Whiskey, I'm not using his mind, you know. Okay. I'm not so I can't decide for him, but definitely we have one. We have mm, one, we spoil. Okay. The one we spoil, so we have a good one, so definitely shout out to Whis for calling me up, you know. Mm. It's a good thing, you know. When those you look up to, you know, now you you are you are you Probably are shoulders, shoulders, you know, you know, it's, it's a good thing. So shout out to Wiz, shout out to everybody. Interesting. So your relationship with Olamide, how did you guys meet up? Uh you know when when it comes to streets the, the connection is, is more easier. Mm. You know, it's 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 more fluent. So and that goes to Badu, you know, um he's a father figure to me. He's a mentor, he's someone I've always loved so much in the industry, you know. So shout out to Olamide Badu, like, um, he's just a father figure. He does everything a father can do, you know, for me. And I really appreciate that. Fantastic. He also works with the widow, mm -hmm. Fade. Mm -hmm. Fade. How was, how was the process for you? Um, shout out to Aluma on that, Aluma mm -hmm. DMW, you know. He really connected me with the video, even while I was not even felt by the gang, you know. Uh, Aluma was like, yo, this boy is dear, this boy is good, and he brought me up, you know. So, um, shout out to the video for also believing in me, you know. Um, these people are just good people to me, so I feel I'm graced and blessed, mm -hmm. you know. So, it's all good. Yeah, push it. Interesting. You did a song with um, Mastercraft and Zlatan. Zlatan, and yes. You know, how was that process for you? I mean, because Alelu, in fact, your hook on that song is mm -hmm. like, Amazing. 
not even cause not even talking about Zlatan's verse on the song, but your hook is crazy. So how was the process for you? How was it like I know you as Latin, you bounce off the yeah, same energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's interesting working with him. Um, you know, I, I had to follow Zlatan down to Mastercraft's place. It was mm -hmm. like yo, me lost all the master she want to me. And I opt in, you know. On getting there, I don't know what God have done. The beat was just so good for me, it was just so normal and Zlatan did this thing, you know. Shout out to Mastercraft, you know, because he never knew me. But just like who is this boy? And Zlatan was like, no, I just put try. You know, and I did my thing, I tried and they all loved it. So shout out to Mastercraft, Zlatan and Bile, you know, those are my people. I'm just too blessed. I don't know why. You're blessed. It's because you're fine boy Bella, <laughs> yeah, you I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm now not... let's talk about your album, mm -hmm. The High Tension 2. Yes. Can you tell us the process, how you... Um, you know, um, High Tension 2.0 you yeah. know, is, is like taste for my, my album coming majorly hypertension. Yeah. You know, so I had uh, like over 30 tracks and I was like, yo, let me pick, you know, taste of everything. Let me try this. Let me see how people is going to take it, you know. So, uh, attention 2.0 uh, is one of my vibes. They are not one of my good ones. Um, my jobs I'm proud of, you know. Mm. So, and I'm ready to put out to my, for my people, for my fans. You understand? So, it's all good. I'm just working. Fantastic. Want to get money, want to we, get we are looking forward to listening to it. Mm -hmm. So, you're going to play it for us today, right? Do what? You need to play it for us today. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Okay, sure. so can you run us through your creative process? Ah, man. How? Oh, because I know you were writing your exams and yeah. having to work on it. So yeah. how did you juggle both? Uh, majorly, I have my producers. I have my producers, and uh, many time I want to work. You know, I have my gangs. I have my everybody that works for me. So mm -hmm. creative process is not easy. Do I, I have to be in the studio? You know, and you know the school thing is there. Um, shout out to everybody um, on that on that album EP, you know. Um, everybody really really showed their best and I'm really grateful to them, you know. All of them that supported, you understand? Because I have to go and I have meeting producers, from producers to producers, you understand? Maxing and mystery and all these things, you know. They are not funny, but you know, it's, it's the life we have signed up to, so you have to up to it. So, so who, can you mention some of the producers? Ah. Are there features on it? No, no features. Just okay. pure Bella Schmoder. Okay. I feel I had enough features, so I don't need it anymore. It's, it's time for people to really feel me. Bella, you yeah. know, to really get the true Bella, the real Bella. So I feel it's time for me to be just, you know, out there just for my fan. No mixed feelings, you know, just Bella Schmoder. So, who are some of the producers you want? Uh, I have Vibes, I have Lion Lens, Enter, I have um, PB, I have BY Lens, uh, I have Sense Core, you know. I have all these people, and these people are like, um, they are not big names. They are just people that I feel they are good at this. And, you know, with my voice and their own production, it can be a mad thing. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so is Rush going to be on this album? Yeah, definitely. Rush is like number five or six on the EP. So, what I have, what I have, Rush, and others too. Yes, so now I'm going to ask you about that video for Rush. What was the inspiration behind that video? The inspiration behind um, just to tell a better story of this song, you know. Mm -hmm. We are living in a rush. Ladies do funny things, guys do funny things too. So, but I'm not in a rush, actually. <laughs> you know, I'm just getting higher. Okay. And right now, I'm just upgrading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now let's also talk about world. Me personally, I love world. World, it's 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 fantastic. Like when I listen to the lyrics, it's it holds a place in my heart. So what was the inspiration behind that song? Um, like I always say, I do conscious sound. You know, that's the best part of me. And you know, um, world is part of those songs that are conscious. You understand? There are a lot of things happening in this world right now that we really are. Some people don't know and we have to educate them some yeah. way, somehow. And that's, that's what the world is doing, you know. Um, I understand all these things going around, you know. As someone conscious, as someone that is th seeing things, you know. I feel the little I've seen, I should spread it to people. People should know, you okay. know. So you had eye tension 1, 1.0 yes. and now you have eye tension 2. So, so what? In creating this one, what has changed at the time you created that one and now? What has changed? Um, I think um, while creating this one, I, I was a bigger, better, I was a better, better. Like, I understand more now than back then. Like, I, um, 
I worked more, I've been to more places. So and I feel that's what that's what is reflecting on iTension 2.0. You surely get a better Bella, a bigger Bella, you know, be, Bella in his own level. You know, so um, and the iTension 2.0 was Bella of them. You understand? Now the upgraded Bella, the Bella everybody know is on iTension 2.0. Yeah. So your record label is called Dangbana ah, Dan Republic. Republic. Yes. So why Dangbana Republic? Um, I'm Dangbana. That's what people call me, and I feel every 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 people part of um, Bella's mother's um, work and everything. Yeah. We are Republicans, Dangbana Republic. You know, lovers of Bella's mother, lovers of conscious sound. You know, people that are strong-willed, people that are stubborn. You know, because. If you are not stubborn, you can do this school thing yeah. and graduate and do music. It will flop. But as a strong will, as someone with you know, hustling spirit, Dan Dana, you know, you can make it happen. You know. So you talked about being a student and a celebrity. What mm -hmm. was the most difficult thing about being a student and a celebrity? Ah, it's like you know, meeting up for classes. You know, um, 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 even staying in school. You know. Uh, um, so many times I miss test and all of this, mm -hmm. you know, so it's not easy balancing it up, but, you know, manga is also to the top. Yeah, so the, do your lecturers identify you? Ah, sure, at the <laughs> point, uh, the new one, uh, it's a blue abbey, you know, ask me. Wow, I'm not good looking, you know, you know, this, uh, this old man, uh, yeah, but it's all good and it's, it's cool when, when these people, you know, they really appreciate what they are doing mm -hmm. and, and, uh, they love you for it. Like they have accepted it that at the bathroom, I will, you know, shout out to good You know, it's all good. It's all good. So shout out to all my lecturers, my classmates. I think they were understanding and they were supportive, mm. regardless. So I really appreciate that. Okay. So your mom is a teacher, right? Yeah. So how did she accept the fact that she's a teacher and you wanted to do music, something totally different? Because I know our parents always wanted to either be a doctor, a lawyer, and uh, all of that. Uh, so how did she how did she accept it? Ah, uh, they said war before peace. <laughs> <laughs> so it was war. You understand? I, yeah. I, I had to leave home to go to Lati's place hmm. to go and stay because you Is know, it the same Latin? Yes, same, same Latin. Latin. Yes, so, Latin. Yes, so wow. I had to leave my mom's house to go to Latin's place where I borrowed money to buy a laptop. But it did not go that way. God changed the destiny and everything. You understand? So it was yeah. well, I have to leave home because my mom is no degree. Mm. And me myself going to be down and I, I won't really do this music thing. But shout out to her, you know. Those days actually paid off because um, actually if I was free then I would have gone astray because mm. Because um, um, the, way, the way she scolded me made me understand some things and, you know, made me do it in a different way, you know. So shout out to my mom. It's all good, but it was worse, huh? serious work. So now but she has then, accepted. No, when money don't they come, she not accept me. I'll go find another mama now. Yes, so, so it's all good. So shout out to her. Interesting. Yeah. So what has been your inspiration and the influence of your music so far? Um, I'm talking of inspirations, you know. Where I come from majorly is a big inspiration. Leaving my mom's home to go to my friend's house to survive is a big inspiration because I can't go back home as a poor man because I don't make mouth. I don't carry load. So I won't come, I can't come back again, you know, all these things. You know, all these things are in my uh, conscious, conscious mind. mind, you know. Um, and, you know, um, you know, even Okoko as a place mm -hmm. has influenced me because all the suffering, all the running to studio, you know, how to trek to studio, you know, instead of going to school, man, studio, pay me, come out, come out, But it's all good, you know, these things are inspiration for me because mm -hmm. going back to Okoko, you know, I would like to go back there as a big man, as a better person, as a big Bella mother. You know, and that's 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 uh, that's more motivation for me. Because anytime I wake up, I just want to get my people proud. Because mm -hmm. I know how much they really they really influenced my lifestyle. So what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Huh? What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? I don't lie, you. Not everybody pray every time they wake up. Me, I pray, but it's not every time. I won't tell you. It's every time I wake up, I say. Uh -huh. Every time I wake up, sometimes you know I try to meditate, drink water, 
you know, I'm and mind your business. I mind my business with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you understand. So that's all. You know, um, you know, um, try to get better. Thinking of what else I can do in terms of creativity. Yeah. In terms of putting out my music, mm -hmm. you know, it's important. So um, you, I think you were nominated for the edits. Yes. You were nominated for 2020. So mm -hmm. this is 2021. Yeah, yeah. So how did that experience? How did you feel about it? And I think you also performed, right? Yeah, I performed. So how was that experience for you? I know you trended for some reason. So what were you, when you came online that day, what did you? How did you see? How did you feel? When I came online. Like after the edits, edits and I'm, then I'm, I'm and seeing online, I've like, seen the trends. Man, ah man, ah, you know, it's it's funny when you are you are in a space where you can't be yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not really easy. It's not funny when you can't even express yourself because of some some kind of things. But you know, I'm this kind of person. I'm I'm extrovert to some extent, man. Mm -hmm. You can't hold my mouth. So um, it's all good. It's all it's, it's all for the better. Shout out to everybody on the nomination list. You know everybody. We're all doing well. You know and uh, me not winning is not anything. That's just the beginning. In mm -hmm. fact, there are better days. Come on, there are bigger awards now, man. I have my I have my I got my eyes on big things, man. I didn't leave Okoku for it, this man. No, no, I didn't go for my mom's house because of award, man. No, come on. They are better desired. We are talking about huge things, man. And that is on my head, man. Mm. So um, shout out to Edis for the nomination. It's a good thing, you know, it's good to be recognized. And um, boom, we are still going high. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> so I would ask you, um, how do you see Afrobeats today? Um, I think Afrobeats has taken over some kind, some way, you know. You can't compare the Afro bit of now to the days of Fela. Yeah. It's more larger, it's more bigger. We have our artists, you know, topping the shots, even in other countries, in most countries, you know, and it's a good thing. So I see Afro beats getting better because we have younger ones who are, who will do this Afro bit better, who will take it um, bigger. You know, someone like me, I'm doing, I will do more of Afro beats, you know, I will do my best to make sure Afro beats is on the top. As, as, as long as I'm African, I'm concerned, you know, it's my job, it's my duty as an artist to uh, glorify um, Afrobeat with my sound. So definitely, it's getting better, it's a big thing. Fantastic. So, you, I know you've worked with quite a number of artists. I don't think you've worked with any female artists. Oh, uh, I have some on the list. I have Efia oh. in Ghana, I have Victoria Kimani mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Kenya, you know, a couple of wants to so it's all good it's no worry, no worry. everything <laughs> is in fact <laughs> okay so before we wrap this up um i would have asked you but at what age in particular did you decide that it's music i want to do you know now when you start this cooking and you have carryover you get where your carryover go with you <laughs> you know you know you get where you go with you go the change plans, you know. At some point, the, I think I was not balancing the music and the studies. Yeah. So I was really lagging uh, when it comes to the studies. So, you know, I decided, man, even school or no school, man, I'm doing this music. Mm. May they leave me. <laughs> so that's the thing, man. So um, when I started getting negative vibes from, you know, so I got serious with my music. And mm. shout out to everybody who supported.